Yo, what's going on guys, it's Naxi today, I'm making video today guys, I'm going to be doing a class setup for the M8A7 on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now guys, that's year I told you guys I was going to do a class setup for a certain weapon on Black Ops 3, and today I decided to do it on the M8A7. So guys, also I'm going to be doing a giveaway tomorrow, so if anybody's interested in my giveaway, um, it'll be tomorrow, so stay tuned till tomorrow. But anyways, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing I put on my M8A7 is an ELO sight. Um, I like the ELO sight or the reflex sight, but I usually use the ELO sight um, because I guess it's just better aiming. Uh, I don't really know, uh, you know what other way to put it, but... The next attachment I put on was grip. Um, I cannot. I need grip, guys. I I cannot go without grip. Uh, grip is one of those attachments that I guess reduces your recoil on your weapon. So I always need grip. I don't know about you guys, but I always need grip. And guys, the next attachment is going to be rapid fire. Um, obviously, with the M8A7, the rate is pretty slow. Um, it's a three-round burst, but the rate of fire is really slow. So you're going to need rapid fire um, to increase your rate of fire. And the next attachment, guys, is stock. Now, I cannot play without stock either. I need to be moving around in the game really fast. So, like, if I'm aiming at an enemy, I want to be, you know, aiming really fast. Um, so, I encourage you guys to use stock on your M8A7. And then for the perks, guys, I went with... Well, I actually just prestiged on Black Ops 3, so I currently don't have any perks unlocked. But the perks I do recommend you guys to use, if you guys are one of those people that loves to jump around the map and just crap on kids, I would use Afterburner, but if you're one of the people that, you know, always get killed by people throwing C4s or using the War Machine, I encourage you guys to use the Flag Jacket. Or if you're going for Hero Gear and you want to get your Specialist Weapon really fast, uh, go for using Overclock. And the next attachment, guys, I use is Scavenger. I probably unlocked this one because I really love Scavenger. Um, if you run out of ammo, you'll you know you'll pick up Scavenger packs on your way through the map without picking up other people's weapons. So I think it's very useful. And the next perk I use, guys, um, well, I'm actually using Gung Ho, but uh, as I said, I just prestige the other day on Black Ops 3. Um, so the ta the perk I would probably use for perk 3 would be Tactical Mask. Um, just because when people throw concussions and stuff like that, it gets really annoying. Um, so I encourage you guys to use Tactical Mask. Um, if I could pick another uh, perk, it would probably be engineer maybe or dead silence something like that um dead silence is basically where they can't hear you but that's not really um useful i would also actually suggest you guys use a blast suppressor i know a lot of you guys out there use it so when you jump around people can't really hear you so uh i guess that's you know another way of being sneaky um but yeah there you guys have it here is the class setup for the m8a7 go ahead and pause the video if you want to take a look at the class setup also, um, if you put on all these attachments and you put on, you know, the perks you want, you're going to be left with one, you know, one thing left. So, like, you could put, like, a lethal or you could put a tactical. But I do recommend you guys use a secondary weapon. So, I would probably use the RK5. But, like I said, I just prestige. So, at this minute, I cannot, you know, actually equip the RK5. So, if you guys are looking to have a secondary weapon, I, you know, recommend you guys to have the RK5. But if you guys wanted to enjoy this video, leave a like. Thank you guys for watching so much. If this helped you in any way, let me know in the comments. Peace out.